Hey guys, it's Ivan and today we are proud to present to you the new AirStreamer 4 ASR envelope. This module is packed with features and have many utility applications on top of its primary functions. And today we'll break down all of the uses and functions of this new AirStreamer 4 envelope. At the core of this module lies a function generator with three selectable modes via the three position switch over here. In the middle switch position we have the AD envelope that accepts trigger signals at the trigger input with a polarizer knob that either acts as a VCA for the envelope or inverts it plus adds a 5 volt offset to it which can be useful for sidechain type of applications. To show how the AD envelope is working we're going to be using track 1 output from the new running order 1U to the trig input on the Airstream Air 4. Then we'll take out the 0 to 5 volt output and use it to control the post VCA on the ghost and then we'll plug an even odd output from the Godspeed to the input of the ghost and now we can start opening the VCA on the ghost and we'll hear a sound. As you can see over here we have control over the VCA We also have control over full, that is also addressable via external CV. And we have the attack stage as well. On top of that we can control the shape of the slope of the envelope from exponential to the left, which will give you very short and snappy envelopes. Logarithmic. To the right of the middle position we have the ASR envelope that accepts gate signals and holds while the gate is on. And to show this I will be using the ground control over here. So let's plug this in. Let's quickly play a sequence from the ground control that has variable gate for each step so you can hear how this can affect the envelope over here. So let's press play. As you can see the decay is set to minimum. To the left of the middle position we have the cycling mode that can act as an LFO and can be reset using the trigger input and also cycle that audio rate to act as an oscillator with one volt per octave input over here. To show you how the AirStreamer 4 can work as an oscillator we'll be using the plus minus 5 bipolar output and feed it to the ghost as you can already hear the waveform. Then we'll use another AirStreamer 4 envelope, but now unipolar output, to control the previous VCA on Ghost. Then we'll patch the gate from the ground control that is just off camera over here, to the trig input on the first envelope. And the pitch will go to 1 volt per octave input on the second envelope. So now we can start playing notes. The first two modes, namely the AD envelope and ASR envelope, also have secondary applications that are accessed by feeding the module signals 
to the one volt proctive input over here and sampling them using the trig input. The ASR envelope can work as a sample and hold module. For example, we can feed it an LFO to the one volt proctive input and sample it using the clock signal from the running order to create a staircase waveform. It is also capable of slewing the signals that attached to the one volt proctive input with a slew rise and fall controlled using the front panel attack and decay knobs. So to show you the staircase effect, we can patch an oscillator to the ghost. We just have a steady tone. Next, we'll take out the 0 to 5 volt cycling envelope and patch it to 1 volt proactive input on the air streamer and then patch the 0 to 5 volt output to the 1 volt proactive input on the god speed. As you can hear, now we just have a normal sine wave. Next, we can take out the clock output from the running order 1U, patch it to the trig input and we'll start sampling at the rate of the clock. To make things even more interesting, we can sample at the regular intervals using the track one. The AD mode in the middle can function as a track and hold mode, which is just opposite to the sample and hold mode. And what it does is freezes the waveform until the first trigger gate hits the trig input, at which point it now streams the current signal connected to one volt proactive input. To show you how the track and hold mode works, I'll again be using the Godspeed oscillator over here. Patch it to the ghost. Then I'll take out the cycling envelope 0 to 5 volt unipolar output. Patch it to one volt proactive input here, then patch the unipolar output again to the one volt proactive input on the Godspeed. So now we're just feeding whatever this air streamer is producing. Next, I'll patch the gate output from the ground control just off camera to the gate input over here. And just to show you, as soon as I press the note, we'll freeze the value. If I let go, it continues. So you can just think of it as like voltage freezer. Cycle mode can work as an oscillator or LFO and also has a trick input for the reset of the cycle. To show you this, I'll again use the Godspeed and patch it to the ghost. Take out the unipolar LFO over here and patch it to the filter. And then we'll use one of the tracks on the running order 1U to reset our LFO. Thank <laughs> you.
The cycling oscillator feature can also be used as an FM modulator for the goat pit. So for example, let's patch this in. Then we'll take out the bipolar output over here, cycle it fairly fast, and patch it to through zero FM input on the goat pit. Using it as an FM oscillator is particularly useful as you have on board VCA over here that is controllable by either using the spot or the external VCA input on the top of the panel. Additionally, you also have the end of cycle output over here that produces a trigger when the envelope finishes its stage. This can be particularly useful if you want to connect other events to the voice in your system. The last feature we have is the slew functionality of the air streamer and once again I'll take out the god speed to the ghost. I'll patch CV output from the total recall, which is unquantized, to the one volt proactive input over here. Patch the zero to five volt output to the pitch of the god speed. And then we'll patch the track number one out to trigger the sequence on the total recall. Now we can start adjusting how the pitch will glide. Now that you understand all of the features and how useful and compact this module is, let's make a patch using one as an oscillator and another one as a sample and hold module. We'll process it using the ghost and sequence using the running order 1U and total recall. This patch will be more about pattern shaping rather than melodic structure, so stick with us to hear some wild tones. So let's put the second air streamer to cycle mode, bipolar output into ghost. The second one will switch it to sample and hold mode. That will be sequenced by the running order. The second track of the running order will sequence the total recall. As you can see, we are using the air streamer that is an oscillator and sampling its frequency using another air streamer to produce the notes for itself. So then let's start patching the total recall to, let's say, the time of the delay over here. We 
we can also smooth it out. Use another one to control the filter. We can also start slewing some of the sample and color values. Add even more variation to the oscillator, we can use CV output number 3 on a total recall and use it to control the full stage of this oscillator. As you can see, there is really a lot of fun to be had with this module and is packed full of features with useful applications in only 4 HP. It can find its way to pretty much every patch and every system. I hope you learned some tricks in this video and can apply them to your own sound design at home with your system. Hit like if you enjoyed this video and we will be back shortly with another tutorial on the running order 1U. Have fun making music and we will see you next time.